We're live. This thing working? All right. Thanks for tuning in. Love mobile home. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think there's people watching. Hey, Kathy, we're famous. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. John Fetcher with Mobile Home Investing. I have a fisheye lens on this today, so you can see kind of a wider. You see Kathy over here. Hey. Hi. And then, uh, this is good. All right, let me make sure I can keep comments. People want to chat, they can. All right, everyone, you got something to say or a question? Feel free to. We're going to tour this mobile home. Me and Kathy are going to do some work and uh, point out some things that we are going to be repairing on this mobile home. Uh, this is a 3-2. It's a 3-2. 90, 98. Excellent. We're outside of Austin right now. Let's take a tour of this mobile home. You have, uh, you have a pen on your Start with the second room. There's the third bedroom, which is a smaller. Because the third bedroom always takes off the uh, hallway. So you have the two, you have the bedroom on the split floor plan. And then this middle room always has a couple feet less because you have to account for the hallway. Now, this is one of the bedrooms. turned on to us by a park manager. I hope that my voice is still coming through. Right here we have a shop. You've already marked this one down? Yeah. Okay. Right here there's a shop spot. And now that we know we'll come in a little bit rougher than I normally would. Right back here is something that we want to replace all of this. Let's move to the deck a bit. So we want to replace all of this, and right behind here is where the uh, shower is. And that's a known problem in a lot of mobile homes. Uh, any wet area, underneath the windows where water can come in, by the toilet, by the sink, uh, behind the shower. So we're going to be replacing, uh, we're going to keep the carpet. This carpet looks very salvageable. Pull the carpet back, and then we're going to fix this spot right here. We're going to fix this with any water problems in the leak as well. And then this room will be done. We'll put new um, blinds on. Those are a couple bucks. And then we don't think it needs to be painted. We'll probably advertise it. Eh, we'll see my thing. We might put it as uh, we'll start advertising it for cash, and then we'll paint it. Because we may have somebody that uh, wants to paint it themselves. And I'll pay home and then instantly right away. Uh, probably going to keep this, the window sills. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's seen better days, but that's very common. And this is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. If anything, the... Uh, maybe more mm -hmm. Again, very common. Single pane window. Oh, no, there's no. Yeah, it's still the old aluminum windows. But for in the 90s, this was a base model mobile home. Still a nice three bedroom. So we do have the power turned on. Obviously. And then right here, that's the uh, behind on the other side of the wall. You can see with us. Um, this obviously is leaking on the other side. So behind this wall, we're going to keep all of this. But behind this wall, we'll replace. And then right here, we'll replace. And then you can see I've lifted up a few of these tiles. We're going to keep. Uh, we're going to keep the tub. We're going to lift up the commode. I just touched that. And we'll replace all this plywood underneath here. Quick fix. Again. This, uh, yeah, you're going to have problems. It's like the same problems in this mobile home, although it's a 1998. If we fix it, it'll be a nice 98 mobile home. These same problems exist in 1970s homes, 1980s homes, 2000s homes. The difference is, the difference is, the difference is, the difference is, you have, uh,
It's amazing that the floor is so bad that we're going to keep the front end. We're going to pull up all the carpet and then right here under the bottom. And the floor. Yeah. Yeah. down? That'd be funny. Uh, try to do, no, that's not going to do it. How funny would it be upside down this whole time? <laughs> I feel like an old person. I'm like, what's going on here? Did you do uh, Well, we're going to, I guess people are, okay, well, this is happening. Thanks for still watching, huh? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All right, uh, nice built-in. That is, we're not going to change that. Stuff. That was here. Uh, we'll change these little things, the covers. Not a big deal. Again, windows are fine. Uh, not, you know, I mean, just, just only going to have to paint. So let's talk about
because we're going to sell this for cash. Although we're still probably not going to fix this. It's in front of the new Double wide. No, this is a single wide, and I'm going to keep the phone like this. Let's see if I can go back to the first one. Okay, what are you doing here? How do I go back? Do you know, do you know what you're doing? I don't know how to do it. Okay, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to go back to this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. okay. Also, the windows need to be replaced. Any idea of the spots to replace them? Uh, it depends where you're getting them. Check Facebook, check local mobile home spots. Um, you can pay 50, 75 bucks, 40 bucks a window. Um, use, well, not use, but just you want to look for deals on windows. No, we don't have to replace any of them. And if I was going to replace these windows, I would sooner replace the glass in the window than I would replace the entire thing if I didn't have to. If there's a crack in the window, I'm just replacing the window. I'm not going to replace the old aluminum uh, unless I need to, and I don't need to. So I wouldn't do that. Not about, well, audio's bad. Well, because I'm not trying very hard. Um, how about everyone stop complaining? Hey, thanks, Dominic. You're the man. 
Okay, I don't know what that's what I was saying. Hey, you open in the house. Obviously not paying attention. Filming someone on their phone. I know, I know. Agreed, horizontal view, you sound muffled. Oh, uh, maybe the mic was covered. Okay, well, maybe it's a good file. It's early in the morning. I was into okay. who would show up. Okay. Okay, but this is the mic. It's a 3 2. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, the uh, blower. Okay. So what we have here. Oh, this is not Okay. So here is the evaporating. Uh, uh, the blower should be under right here. Uh, yeah, the heating and cooling system here, pushing everything into the floor, and here's the register. But this was a five thousand unit, five thousand dollar unit. Mm -hmm. The part said it's got the condenser outside. I don't think it was really five thousand dollars. No. no, I mean that's a round number, first of all. And if they're doing so many mobile homes, they have deals on these, mm -hmm. and you can pick them up. I'm not a really nice unit, five grand, of course, but uh, probably two thousand or three thousand. Take a tour? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, everyone, this is a single wide. The outside still looks really nice. Oh, there's the outside. Okay, I'm going to the unit. Um, Kathy asked about pressure washing. Um, no, we don't really have to. There's some algae. But, but you can, you, we can pressure wash this, this if we want to. A hundred bucks, hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. But it really... It doesn't need to. Now, it rained last night, yeah. not that that pressure washed it, but we didn't see any leaks on the inside. Yeah. So if you're able to go after a rainstorm, that's very really helpful. Then the outside looks good. Skirting is a little bit chipped down here. This is where the weed whacker is, or where the weed whacker gets it. Do you know if, uh, are we responsible for the, for the grass? Okay. That would explain why it looks the way it does. I don't know whose uh, expedition this is, but I'm glad that they're parked here, so it's keeping people thinking that somebody lives here so they can get vandalized. Uh, nice home. All right, anyone else having some questions? So I'm not sure, anyone, oh, how much does it cost for a new roof? Depends what kind of roof that you're gonna put on here. Um, this is a, let's take a step back. This is an old metal roof. This roof looks really good. Uh, now, the roof looks good, even, and if the roof even looks bad, I look for evidence inside of the mobile home. Now, if the roof looks really bad, then I'm going to spot this thing. I do like this little gutter. That looks aftermarket. It's sticking way off. Yeah, definitely aftermarket, but hey, that, that, that absolutely works. Uh, so it depends what kind of roof that you want to put on. Would we put shingles on this? Probably not, because those weigh a lot, and it might hurt the home. Uh, if we had to replace it, we would just put new uh, corrugated metal. Go to a roofing or a metal place nearby, see what kind of uh, material they have. Do we have any examples of that around here? By the way, you can see that in this park, it's mostly single-wide, around the same ages, 90s, 80s. Um, I don't see any metal corrugated. That's single roof. That's an old style roof. Yeah, there's no corrugated enough. Anyway, it depends what you want to use, but um, for something like this, dollars $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, installed for a corrugated metal roof. Gutters would save that size. Yeah, you're, you're right on that. Over time. Depends what type of roof. That's right. Are you in Sunnyvale? Nope, Sunnyvale. But outside of Austin. Oh, we're planning, so this home, just for quick numbers sake, we're, um, we're into this home so far under $5,000. With the repairs, we're going to be into it under $8,000. Um, we've heard from the manager uh, that we should be asking for a cash price of around $20,000. And again, we want to sell this one for cash. If we were selling it on payment, if we were selling this on payment, I mean, a 3 C from the 90s, mid-30s. Yeah. I mean, you can really sell it for almost double if you take payment. And again, we want to be transparent and honest with people, and they know just what they're getting into. Um, but if you take out a 30-year mortgage on a house for 100 grand, you're paying 300000 over 30 years. So 
Not that that is right. But, uh, okay. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Me and Kathy are going to celebrate. Oh, right here. We need to, uh, this one little piece of wood maybe over here. Not a big deal. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so over the years, they put, what is this floor? Like some pieces of floor tile, that little, the uh, linoleum floor tile. They put it right there. It must have been to just prevent water from coming in or so they could screw to something more they they ran out of cost or something it's funny to see the things that people just frankenstein together i think too much of that still that foam oh and i uh when you first come in i mean it's this one i mean we didn't miss it but on today's video we did here's a big soft spot and again this is a good example of uh just fixing a soft spot or what you're getting in a mobile home very basic construction. Oh, okay. Good luck. Oh, insulation. We're not going to replace this insulation um, when we fix the floor. Uh, depending on where you live around the country, it is a smarter idea to do that. Um, but there's, yeah, pros and cons. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is just us. You need to do, um, you need to do deals. Don't stop watching the YouTube and, um, you can do this. You know, if you are investing in mobile homes, keep investing in mobile homes. If you haven't started yet, uh, ask a lot of questions, and they're here. There's mobile homes around you. And then nice property. If you have any questions, reach out, support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. I'm John. Thanks for watching and working with us today. Bye. Bye. <laughs>